And last question, obviously CM Punk, you know, suffered a tough loss tonight. Uh, I have to imagine that's it for him, but I mean, did you talk to him after the fight? And, and I got to imagine, mean, is that it for him as far as how many chances you're going to give him to, in the UFC? Did he do any media after the fight? Uh, he got transported. Huh? He was transported. Oh, he was? And everybody got transported tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, no, it's probably, it should be a wrap, you know. The, the guy's 39 years old. I love the guy. He's the nicest guy in the world. Um, we gave him two shots, you know, and he had a lot of heart tonight in this fight, and uh, yeah, I think you should call it a wrap. Uh, what did you think about uh, the heart that he, he showed in the he fight? Did. No, he did, man. Listen, he got, he got clipped a lot in that fight. He, it looked like he was hurt bad a couple of times. Um, he stayed in there and went for three rounds, you know. Michael Jackson, I'm not happy with. This guy was acting like a football tonight. You get this opportunity to come in and fight CM Punk, and you're doing like bolo punches to the body on top. Never looked like he was trying to finish the fight ever, right? Looked like he could have finished the fight a few times. Never tried. I don't know what that guy did for a living before we gave him the shot, but whatever it was, he needs to go back and do that again. He's 0-2 well, as far as I'm concerned. Well, uh, to that point, it seemed like he was trying to milk it. Um, to, to stay on TV longer. Did you get that sense? I got the sense that, that he's a complete fucking idiot and uh, I couldn't wait for that fight to end and I regretted not putting it on Fight Pass. That's how I felt about it. Okay. Four o'clock. And my last question is, you, you did talk about Mike Jackson. Is that it for his UFC career? Yeah, that's it for his UFC career. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't put that kid in the contender series.